Hello everybody, Project here and welcome to another video. Uh, so today is a little sort of extra video, um, I just thought I'd put an extra one out this week. Uh, and we're going to be taking a special special delivery, um, this is some ambulance ambul um, that we're going to take through Germany. Uh, so yeah, these are this is a mod tr uh, trailer, um, if you go in the Steam Workshop uh, the mod is there. Uh, it's pretty recent. Pretty re it'll be, it'll be on the first page or something like that. But yeah, you, you get to take these ambulances. Um, I'm presuming they're brand new ambulances uh, because they've got no number plates on. Oh, that one hasn't anyway. Uh, so we're going to be taking it in our Renault today. Or we're going to be taking them in our Renault today. Uh, so it's not a massive. It's not a massive, um, but it's a, it's a fairly. A fairly deep one but it's not it's not very long so uh, yeah anyway let's jump in and we'll uh, we'll take it let's get started first so yeah so we're gonna take these um, first of all I need to make sure my track IR is working which it is we've got all our old school and we've got our equipment that we need in here today so we'll just jump out so yeah we're going to take this we don't need beacons obviously um, but we're going to take these two ambulances um, I think we're going to Dresden if I just quickly have a look yeah we're going to Dresden from Munich so we'll crack on with that I just thought I'd do um, an extra video today. Like I say, this is a mod trailer. You can get it in the Steam Workshop. Uh, we need to stop. Wow, it's, there's a lot of traffic. I'm pretty close there, actually. That was close. Are we going? Oh, we're stuck on a bump. Cool. So we'll take these. Uh, like I said, I just thought I'll do a, a video of this. Um, like I don't normally do. I normally do like one video a week, which is out on a Monday. Um, but I thought I'd do an extra one, just just because I had the. Uh, I've just recently uh, downloaded this mod, so I just thought I might as well uh, do a video of it. Why not? So I'm still using the Renault uh, when I'm on Euro Truck. It's not a bad truck. It's it's all right. It's out of the Renaults. It's okay. Are we going lads or what? I was gonna say I think I'm just going through on a red there, but uh, never mind. We're taking ambulances. They need to get there. So we, you know, rules may be broken. You know, th these things happen when you've got a special delivery. So if you go on the Steam Workshop, you will come across this mod. Um, it is in the first page or so, uh, so you can click on it and get the uh, the mod. It's a it's a cool little mod um, if you like ferrying ambulances around. Like I say, I just thought I'd do it and just for a change. Um, obviously, come take a ride with me, or take a ride with me, as as I put on the title. Um, they come out on a Monday uh, and I think we're on episode 6 now so we're not doing bad um, 
Germany's been been rescaled as well, uh, re rescaled, uh, reskinned. Um, so like these junctions here, as you can see on the map, they're not actually coloured yellow, they're, they're grey, which means I've not discovered them. Um, and that's because they're new. Even though I've been all through Germany on this game, uh, I've not been over these new patches. This has all been redone, so all this um, exit and, and on-ramp and things like that, they've all been re redone and resurfaced. And uh, SCS has sort of like um, revamped them. That's the word I'm looking for, revamp. Um, and they've gone they've just gone through and done most of the ones in Germany <clears throat> and they did that in the 140 update that's that's not long since been added so yeah if you've got the if you're going through Germany and you come across them new bits like that that's what it is it's because it's been reskinned and stuff and it looks pretty cool they, they're a lot better than they used to be the problem with Germany was it was one of the first maps uh, in the game so the exits and entrances to the to the motorway or the freeway or whatever you want to call it was single single tracks and, and things like that and you'd have like three lanes like this and they'd, they'd merge into one you know on a main motorway and it was a bit of a bit of a nightmare but they've all they've obviously redone all that rejigged it all uh, things like the Baltic Sea was adding new entrances and exits to motorways so they obviously had to do it on um, the German map. Uh, there was a bit done in France as well I think they, some, they did some re revamping in France and we need to be getting out of this lane. Oh no we don't, we can stay in this lane. This dude in front needs to get out of this lane, that's what he needs to do. You're in the truck, are you a truck dude? He's not a truck is he? So why is he here? I don't understand this bit. I must say, I don't understand this bit. But we have to go this way. Um, he hasn't, so he's been pulled up. Look at that. Yes, you've gone the wrong way, sir. I don't know what the difference is between going down this bit and that bit. Um, you're going exactly the same way. <laughs> it's just an extra bit. Oh no, I tell a lie. That one goes down and we go up. Oh, we go sort of, yeah. Anyway, I don't know why that is, but yeah. It's obviously a thing. And I'm speeding. We shouldn't be doing that. I'm still speeding, I'm just not speeding as much. I don't, anyway, it, that's what it does. <laughs> so there you go. Why does it do that? Anyway, oh, it looks beautiful over there, doesn't it? Oh, hello. Let's concentrate where we're going, shall we? Bart Simpson's going mental. So yeah, get yourself on the Steam Workshop. Have a look at this mod, this trailer mod. There's all kinds of different trailer mods on on the Steam Workshop. Uh, you just click them and download them. Um, very simple to install. You can go on, um, do we need diesel? No we don't. Uh, you can go on um, other websites and get mods but I don't like doing that because uh, they don't always work properly or you, you have some kind of issue. Uh, Brewell, Brewell Transport, there you go. He's got his wheel up. Must be empty. I need to get past him. I think he's speeding up. This dude. He's gone into that lane, so we'll move over. Lovely jubbly. Bring ourselves back to speed. Let's jump out and have a look. That's cool, doesn't it, the ambulances? Oh god, is that the horn? <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. It's like Honda. Get out of the way. Yeah, you just wouldn't, would you? See, again, on the map there, we're just coming off it, actually. But it's been re 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 revamped. If I can put my teeth in and say it, we'll be alright. Look, he was speeding past them. What was he doing? People say to me, Project, you, you always stick to the speed limit and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I do. Because that's the speed limit. <laughs> you don't speed in real life, do you? Well, I suppose some people do. But... Well, I suppose we all do at times, but... It's not something to make a habit of it. So yeah, this is, uh, like I say, this is just an extra special video I thought I'd do this week. Um, I think, like I say, episode 6 of Come, uh, well, Take a Ride With Me was out on Monday. So I think this video is out on Thursday or something. I can't remember what day I put it out now. Um, but yeah, this is just a special video that I thought I'd do. And if people watch it, that's great. If they don't, I enjoyed making it. <coughs> That's the main thing. It's starting to get a little bit dark now. It's becoming, what, what are we at there? Six o'clock in the afternoon. Evening, whatever. So, we shouldn't have far to go now to take these. Like I say, we're not coming out of Germany. We, we're only travelling through Germany. So it's not a massive journey. I do like the seats in this truck, I must say. Renault trucks written on it then. It's got the red piping, red seat belt. It looks pretty cool. Like I say, it's the better of the Renaults. The, Ren the Renault trucks are not the best in the world. Um, but this is probably the one that's okay. On next Monday, next week, we'll be back to take a ride with me, and that'll be episode seven that we've done. So if you want to send a message in, and I'll, uh, you want to ask me anything, or you want to tell me anything, or you want to find anything out about anything, if I can give you the answer, I will. Um, so just write in the message, and I'll, I'll feature it in my take a ride with me. They seem to be doing pretty well, Take a Ride With Me episodes, so that's why I'm carrying them on. Um, I, I wasn't sure, i just done it one day and I just thought, hmm, I could make some episodes out of this. Uh, see, how, see what people think. And uh, that was nice over there. See what people think and um, if it fits a bit of a catch on. And it does seem, people seem to you know watch it and stuff I just don't get any messages in about it um, asking me anything that I can sort of talk about in the in the truck you've got to imagine that you were in the truck with me on take a ride with me you know you you've come along and you've got in the truck and you're sat there uh, and we're chatting about something that's what you've got to imagine so the video before if you send me a message and ask me something or tell me something I'll I'll mention it in the video the following video. I don't know if I've seen any signposts for Dresden yet. I think that's where we're heading. Yeah, it is, isn't it, Dresden? So we mustn't be close to it yet. <clears throat> it's looking very misty over there in the in the distance. That's the new lighting. Oh god, what's going on down here? I can see traffic building. Oh yes, we've got a diversion. Great. Where's this diverting us to? Come on, dude. Oh, wrong one. 
beeping at him. I meant to flash at him, not beep at him. Not literally flash at him, obviously. That would be uh, illegal. <laughs> and I would probably get arrested for that. Let's see if we can go a different way, just just for some kind of interest. Let's have a look. We might be able to take another route. Mm, no, puts too much time on it. That. Yeah. Okay. I think it's telling us to turn around here. So we'll have a look. Yeah, it's telling us to turn around at the petrol station. So we'll do that. Like I said, there's been a lot of um, revamping in Germany so like this petrol station now it's probably been revamped um, from what it was so that was pretty cool that was nice I do like the indicator sound in this thing oh hello it's truckling the traffic's coming this way now. He was just going in whether I was turning left or not. Right, sorry. It must be just there where the accident is then. Yeah. We can get on the motorway here, which is all very quiet, which is good. We like a quiet motorway. I've just bought myself a coffee machine. Well. Mrs. Project bought it. Um, and I'm having a coffee out of it, it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I think I'm going to convert to coffee. It is really nice, it just feels, it's quite a smooth coffee as well, it's nice. Very nice. I like sort of special coffees like flavoured coffees. But, uh, sometimes I'll get an Irish coffee which is like, it's got whiskey in it and things. And, tastes you know different tastes not just your standard coffee um, and I've just put one through this machine that we've just bought uh, yeah and it's really nice it's really really nice actually it's very smooth on the on the mouth as well sounds weird but yeah <laughs> anyway let's get off that topic <clears throat> uh, okay, so where are we going? Right. We're going this way. Oh, hello, we need to slow down. It's starting to get a little bit dark now. So, like I say, if you want to check my channel out again on Monday, um, that'll be episode 7 of Take a Ride with Me. That's a thing then. Because um, episode 6 has just come out this Monday. So hopefully you've already watched that one. <laughs> um, and episode 7 will be out next week. Uh, that'll be back in American Truck again. Ameri I'm using Take a Ride. I'm using American Truck uh, to do Take a Ride with me. Um, actually, I did do a Euro Truck one. Um, but I don't think I'll do many Euro Truck ones. It'll be mainly American Truck. Uh, we have a bit of CB as well. Um, 
so that's pretty good which is brought to us by uh, Bolt he's a youtuber if you want to check him out but yeah he's uh, he, gi he gives me some content and I uh, use that in my video <coughs> which is pretty cool of him it's pretty cool the content's really good as well so it's very usable which is good it's very quiet on the motorway today I think we're going to be driving into the night I don't know how long we've got exactly let's just have a quick look Ah, oh, we've only got two hours. So we're not far now. This truck, um, the sound of this truck is probably different than the standard. That's because it's a mod. Uh, I meant to mention this earlier actually and I forgot. Um, see, look at this again. It's all been revamped. All the, the stopping areas. Petrol station there. Um, it's all been revamped. Some trucks having a rest over there. Getting the, sl the sleep. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's got a mod uh, sound, engine sound. So um, I think they use the D11 and D12 diesel engines for the sound. It's quite a nice sound, actually. Makes it a lot better than the the actual Renault original S S C S sound the standalone sound that's the one I'm looking for because that's just like a bag of spanners it's horrible yeah that's that's on the workshop as well so you're gonna check that out some graffiti over there cool it's been recently added I think a bit more uh, lifelike I do like the di di the, 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 the I do like the digital dash on this truck. Nice and clear. It makes the cruise control clear as well, really clear. So you've got cruise control at 50, um, so it'll build up to 50 mile an hour. You don't have to press anything; it just does it all on its own. It's cool. But it's nice and clear, so even in my normal position here, I can see the cruise control 50 and the 50 mile an hour that we're doing as well so I can just like adjust my 50 cruise control to 49, 48, 51 you can see it just being adjusted there on the left hand side I'll zoom in so you can see me adjusting it pretty cool it saves me pressing any brakes and stuff Truck drivers have got it so easy nowadays, haven't they? <laughs> These automatic vehicles. And the slip roads are a lot longer than they used to be as well, which is really good. We're going into a tunnel here. I'll have a sip of my beautiful coffee. It is good that, I must admit. Very nice. What does that say? Oh, I don't know, it's in German. Dresden, alright. That's where we're going. Must, ad <laughs> must admit, that's the problem with Euro truck, you can't understand the signs. <laughs> on, on American truck, you can read all the signs, you know, but on, on Euro truck, you, you struggle to see the signs. All the signage has been redone as well. Uh, in Germany, as you can see, we're all lit up and stuff. Plus, with the lighting uh, update, 
it was all changed as well. Looks pretty cool. And the downside to a Euro truck is you can't see in the mirrors when it's dark, whereas American truck you can. The sort of light and it still make it so you can see easy enough. Whereas your truck doesn't. You can only see lights and stuff. It's just pitch black otherwise. Which I suppose is more realistic, but just harder. They're a bit impatient for these ambulances, aren't they? I suppose they need them though. Velio truck expert team. Okay. I still try and press my clutch even now. Which is weird. If I've been on American truck and I'm using the clutch, uh, and then I jump onto Euro truck and it's automatic, <laughs> I, I forget and try pressing the clutch. So we're just pulling up on the right hand side here, dropping these ambulances off and then that'll be it for today. So like I say, check out my videos on, uh, on Monday, um, take a ride with me, quite interesting. And like I say, if you want to comment in and I'll uh, give you a mention and what have you, talk about what you've asked. Let's hope we can get into here. It's going to be a tight squeeze this one. Oh my god. Oh hello. What's going on here? Why have we come to a stop? Oh I see what the problem is. I don't like these um No, it's not quite the pixel is not pixelating. Oh hello. Interesting. Come on. Okay. Should have done that in the first place. Well, the only problem is I've passed where I need to. Uh... <sighs> well, that's a goddamn pain. What I've done there is I've missed the uh, flipping Nora. Bet even she can't help us. Whoever Nora is. Oh, it's going to be one of them. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later. <laughs> no, I won't, I won't do that. I won't turn it off. You can see me struggle. I don't know whether there's anything coming. Oh, it's going to take it. Cool. 
What's... <laughs> really? Right. Anyway. That's that. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Until next time, bye-bye for now.